All right, welcome guys. In this live session, we will take care of a few myths because from what I understand is like everybody's losing their shit just thinking that Corona is happening and that's why nobody is able to find any kind of jobs whatsoever, which is absolutely not true. So for that, like we will have a super detailed webinar this time where we are going to discuss different kind of possibilities on how you can still you know, get hired in different kind of uh, companies and what are the different ways of doing it. So I'll be sharing with you all of those details and it is going to be again like a very detailed session. And before we, let's say, start that, first of all, so let me put it here, boom, boom. And you have, first of all, let me know which city you're joining from. So write it in the comments, not in the comments, but in the live chat. And once you have written city, we are going to move towards the next question so that we can then modify this webinar better according to your needs. All right. Hey, Kartik. Kartikin. All right. So let's get started with this. I'm waiting for your responses now. Chennai, Aachen. Okay. Aachen, Munich. All right, Freiburg, Gießen. All right, that means like we have a lot of people from Germany too. Okay, so I'm going to like make sure that um, our webinar is not just focused towards people who are like outside India, but also like people who are right now in Germany, because from what I understand is like maybe most of you people are having more issues right now, like figuring out all of this and all of the scenario. So um, for the people who are now in Germany, so let me know your semester, which semester you are in and what kind of problem you're facing. No? And people who are, let's say, outside um, Germany, they can also, like, let's say, mention something about, um, you know, what kind of, like, problems you are facing right now. That's not a problem, but for people who are in Germany, who are studying, um, I would love to know the semester and what kind of issues you're facing. Okay, so Balaji is in final sem, Ayman is in fourth, Spursh is in first, first, fourth, second, done. Okay, that's that's good. So we have people from all of different kind of like semesters. Perfect. Now, let me tell you like why, first of all, like, you know, I'm talking about the myth story and like why like all of this, whoops, why all of these things are like not really true. So... I think a lot of you know something about me, but to give you uh, an introduction, a proper introduction, we are going to start from the very beginning. And then, like I said, it is a detailed webinar today. So we will be taking care of all of different kind of like questions and different kind of like ways you can like approach your employment opportunities. And um, for the people who are new, I'll just quickly give you, give you an introduction. Again, before you start this webinar, make sure that all of your other tabs are closed and any kind of like other applications you're using, just put them down so that we have all of the attention in one single place. And then at least you can learn something out of it. It shouldn't be like you waste one hour here and like afterwards you go out and like you have no idea of it, mainly because you were not paying attention. And that doesn't make sense for you and it doesn't make sense for me. All right. Okay. Now, this is especially for people who are like, you know, looking for jobs, so like they're here for a job seeker visa or employment search. Uh, they're doing their employment search from the home countries, let's say India, uh, Bangladesh, Pakistan, whatsoever. And then for students who are already studying in Germany, for them, like this is also a, a good um, session, which from which you can learn a lot of things from. So of course I was born in 95, then I had my preschooling in Germany from 97 to 99. Afterwards I went back to India. I had my entire, yeah, university entrance examination and so on. Then I met Alina during the IASS conference um, in 2014, the third, third year ended of bachelor's. My background is from civil engineering. If many of you don't know, I'm going to put myself right here. So there are three, four, five different faces of me. Yeah. 
So, um, my background is from civil engineering, no? And like then afterwards I started my masters and the masters was then in management, which I will show you afterwards. So in 2016, my bachelor's ended. And then afterwards I uh, came to Germany, started my structural engineering. I started YouTube in 2017. I did a couple of meetups like where like nothing really happened in the starting. And then afterwards, uh, I changed my course from structural engineering to international management engineering. And then I started Big Academy to guide people who are like willing to come to Germany or maybe they are like having any kind of like issues when they are already in Germany. So there we have courses like complete course for studying in Germany, powerful presentation workshops and university shortlisting and so on. And um, now the newest one is the complete course for finding jobs in Germany. Now, when I finished MSc, I started like consulting German companies with their marketing strategy. I think this is the part where like most people get wrong. So um, many people who are also on YouTube, like they think that I'm doing like education consulting. But I personally like find it like really not worth my time. So um, this is just a side thing that I'm doing. So like BIG is not the main business that I have, the brand device part. Even though the YouTube channel has like very small audience right now, but that's not what Brand Device is about. On Brand Device, I'm doing marketing strategy consulting. So marketing consulting for other bigger German companies. Nah? So this is for different kind of German companies. And we actually also have um, one client who is not one client who is not from Germany and one client that is from then US. So again, like building marketing campaigns for them, figuring out what kind of idea we have to like uh, educate the people to and how are how are we going to put it? And then, of course, like here, I'm also going uh, I'm doing Facebook ads and I'm doing YouTube ads and all of these things. No? So that is like the main business. And what this business provided me was an opportunity of getting to know different kind of companies. What are they doing right now? What are their struggles? What kind of other issues they are facing? And because I'm doing this now since 2000, what, almost like December? December 2019. Okay, so it's not even visible here. Yeah, December 2019. Huh? I'm doing brand device since December 2019. That means I've had the opportunity of working with a lot of different kind of companies. And after working with them and being an employer myself, so like when I came in 2016, I came as a student and now in 2020, like I'm an employer and I have a team of like then two people. Of course, two people doesn't sound that much, but like when you're doing all of this management consulting, you, you need people to write proposals, you need people to manage accounts and things like that. So of course, like, you know, um, there are some kind of like uh, support you need there. So that means I know myself as a student I know myself as an employer and I've also worked with other employers who are looking for different kind of uh, people who can solve their problems. Now we were talking about myths now. Nah? So now I've given you the background. So I want to talk about what are the myths now nah, that like many people are still having having right now. Now the first like major myth is that companies are not hiring because of COVID. Or because of corona times and like the confidence is low and blah blah and all, all of that nonsense no nah? and why is that a myth the myth is here that people are over exaggerating the problem of corona that companies are facing it is many a times if the companies have been like saving up money putting up things to the side they are not struggling that much right now no nah? and anytime they are having any kind of extra tasks any kind of extra projects which come up, they're always looking for people who can support them. No? So I can tell you personally from my experience, um, right now, currently I'm working with five different kinds of clients. So four of them are German, one of them is from US. And these are all like small and major companies. And the one thing I've seen with all of them is that all of them have been hiring cons uh, consistently during the COVID, COVID time too. Now, for some of the people, things actually blew up. Anybody who was having an online business, for them, things really blew up and then they started hiring more people. So this is really a myth because a lot of people who are still having any kind of extra tasks, so any companies 
who are coming up with extra tasks, extra projects, or companies in general who are growing. Nah? They are all looking for people all the time. Even right now during the Corona time, like I tell you, uh, before that, so before April, um, I didn't have a team. Nah? And just during um, this entire like, you know, pandemic situation, like from May onwards, like what well, I was able to hire one person and then I was able to hire another person. And like for me, like team became from zero to two. I know another client who started with a team of 120 before that. And now he's at around 219. And I know another one who was at 89 and now he's at 110. So things have only grown throughout this situation. But it's just that people's own fear is so big that they are not able to understand that there are still opportunities out there. Now, how do I know there are still opportunities out there? Now, if you can just go to the um, any of the job portals. Now, StepStone is one of the most expensive ones, right? So here, I will show you if you go to Für Arbeitgeber and you see actually the prices, how much the the stepstone is charging for a company to put a vacancy up per day you have so no not per day uh, per month you have 920 euros which is like the basic package for companies so stepstone charges companies 920 euros to put up a def, uh, so put up a vacancy on their website on professional 1195 now on top comes vat and then again, 1,695 on top comes that. Now, what you have to understand is that if companies are putting so much inside and still putting up the vacancies up, it is not for sure. They're actually looking for capable people who can do a particular job. Now, let's say I'm going to search for marketing. Now, again, very simple thing. I'm going to go marketing, search for jobs. And if you take a look at on the left side, there are 80 jobs which came up which are newer than 24 hours now which were posted on this platform that means companies couldn't find these people anywhere else so they decided to like finally put it up on the stepstones platform let's let's take a look at machine bow no so mechanical engineer we are also going to like then try to find jobs now, if you find the jobs here you have 33 different kind of postings which are new than 24 hours. And then you have 474, which are newer than 400, uh, new, newer than seven days. And then you have German ones, which are 1096. And you have English ones, which are 68. Now, is it a joke? Like, you know, there are companies which are still hiring. So all of this, like this chaos that is happening among people, which like people are kind of like even making it bigger than it actually is this is not the scenario right now and all you need is to like actually head outside and like take a look at different kind of platforms and i from the employer standpoint i can tell you that companies are still clearly hiring people they have new projects set up they are still having new partnerships with different kind of companies so all you have to do is you have to put your head down and you have to figure out what kind of different places you can apply for now now the second myth is I don't have enough skills to apply for a job. The thing is, as long as you have not been like uh, living under a rock, so, okay, that was the iPhone, yeah. As long as you were not living under a rock, I can very clearly tell you that like throughout your masters and throughout your bachelors, there were different kind of skills that you learned and different kind of skills that you can just easily brush up on to to let's say like you know adjust your profile to whatever kind of like job you're applying to and sometimes you don't even like have to worry that much about like um what kind of you know skills you're generally having because what companies understand is they need to hire somebody who understands the field so that they can train that person themselves when they start the job now a very like nice place to start with that is internships people who are in germany right now like I just don't understand like how can you miss out the part of like internships. You have 
do take the internships before your master's or bachelor's is done. And this could be a voluntary internship, this could be a mandatory internship, it absolutely doesn't matter. Now, or otherwise, of course, you have your part-time jobs. In part-time jobs, then you make sure that these part-time jobs are in the same field where like you're trying to, you know, get inside afterwards. So these are the two things that you have to make sure that you have to take a look at, right? So these are the two major myths. And first of all, please let me know if any of you were having an idea or like were having this notion that because of Corona, companies are not just hiring right now. It's just not working. And maybe taking a look at this, these numbers that I've shown you personally and the numbers that we have seen on the job portals, maybe now you have some kind of confidence that all right, things are not as bad as they sound. <sighs> yeah, it, it really like bothers me because I know there are so many different kind of opportunities for people out there, but it's just that like, people get inside their own brains so much that they just forget that there are other people like me, other people like my business partners and so on, who are still looking forward to hiring people because they always need people. They always need people who are willing to work harder. No? Okay. Now for this, for example, when we go to the next part where we are going to take a look at different kind of opportunities and how you can like start looking for jobs and stuff. I'm going to give you actually a big chunk of the, like not give out, but like I will show you some of the parts of the job curriculum that I have. And I'm going to like take you through the entire um, lessons. And I'm also going to show you like what it's about and how you can start doing these particular things on your own. Now, there, first of all, there are three different ways that you have to like think about finding a job. Now, the first thing is, like your own network. So this could be your own network for, let's say, students in your universities in Germany. No? So again, quickly find it on LinkedIn. It is really not that difficult to find out. Then the next thing is you have your professionals who are from your Indian university. or like whatever like home country you're from and they are working in a particular German company. I'm going to show you how you do it. So don't worry about it either. Now, second thing is you have your network of course, but then you have the part of the unsolicited application. Unsolicited application is what is called the Initiative Bewerbung. And it has also said like how you have to actually Shiva Shiva is saying, but in one of your um, videos, you showed us some kind of employment index statistics that has been declining in 2020. Shiva, it declined in March and it declined in April. And then afterwards it has been going up. Um, so please take a look at the newer videos where I've already shared that. So unsolicited applications, right here. What you have to then take care of is First of all, how do you find the companies in your industry? And there are a lot of ways you can find about it. The first one is like you start finding the magazines. You start talking to your professors. You can just like ask them for a list of companies or like, you know, do you know, uh, do you have some kind of brochure for like the companies who have like picked up students or where our students are working in blah, blah, something like that, that always works. Then afterwards, for example, when I was looking my first clients, like, you know, um, the professors were able to like give me some nice leads there. Now the second one, um, companies in your industry, blah, blah. So, and then you need the list of companies, right? So of course you need to understand what kind of companies are in your industry. Then you need the list of companies. And then most probably you need the location of those companies so that you can maybe make a nice, um, let's say CV or um, your cover letter for them. Huh? So you have the network covered, which is your, uh, your students and everything. Then you have the unsolicited applications covered. Then you have the part where we talk about 
the job portals i do not like consider them that big because like first of all putting up any kind of like vacancy on job portals for the companies that always like cost money right so you will also see a lot of companies which are just not putting up any kind of vacancy on the job portals and you have to understand that like there are a lot of companies which are not putting up any kind of vacancies on the job portals and you have to uh, understand how you're going to make the best use of it then the second one um so you have the job portals of course many companies are not doing it and then the companies which are doing it they are very serious about it right so here you can start taking a look at stepstone.de you can take a look at indeed.de and so on a lot of different kind of like places where you can start taking a look at right anybody who is asking questions in the comments right now don't worry like we will take the questions towards the end too but right now let's um, cover, up, cover up the basics now it is very important so network unsolicited applications job portals and one thing that students at least in germany are missing out are their career centers Sometimes the career centers, centers themselves have some kind of uh, collaboration with different kind of companies or they know that there's a particular person who is like, you know, looking for jobs. Uh, they're also like in touch with, touch with different kind of, let's say, smaller startups, which are from those particular universities or bigger companies which are having some kind of collaborations with them. So the career centers of your university will also know about these things. Now, if there's somebody who is... Um, posting some kind of job application whatsoever now um, another one which i think we missed out on was your um, faculties so generally on your faculties notice notice board there are again like some very like um targeted job applications or like job listings there which you can take a look at now you have to understand you have to see all of these different kind of um you know platforms and different kind of uh, opportunities that are in front of you now okay so these are a few ones now i'm going to go through one by one through the job curriculum so that i can tell you where you can find what because of course right now we have seen the job portals we have taken a look at like stepstone.de then we have taken a look at let's say indeed.de this is something you can also like very quickly like just go around and see what kind of different uh, things are out there. Let's say we start with our very standard one. We take a look at Machine Bow Engineer. Now, we see that we click on Jobs Fin. And again, you have all of these different kind of like listings which you can start taking a look down there. I personally really hate the like look of this because it's just it just feels so chaotic. Some of them are even like giving a, giving an option for home office. All right, good. But you see, all of these are like not that much. Now, if we see the total numbers, it is showing somewhere on five. And even if you have like 20 listings or something, uh, so it's showing total of 8,445 jobs, right? So again, you have also like some kind of like stuff here. So we have talked about the job portals. Now we have also talked about the networking flat platforms. We are going to like go more into detail here. How actually do you use these different kind of networking platforms for your own advantage, right? So that we are going to do one by one through the curriculum that we have. If you don't yet know about the complete course for finding jobs in Germany, you can take a look at that with the link given in the description. You have all of the details and stuff like, you know, mentioned here. All right, let's start with that. So the first one, which it says is changing perspective, right? So we have already talked about this, that you have to understand that companies and like business owners, they're always like looking for other people who are bringing some kind of like value to the company. So what most of the times, the small and medium enterprise at least, so the SMEs are looking for people who are like willing to work hard. That's it. That is where like their work requirement ends and you have some kind of degree in your own field. No? Now, so that's the story here. Now, afterwards, you have the story of favorite job portals. So I've talked about the favorite job portals. Most of the most of the serious uh, job, most of the serious employers are looking for jobs and hiring people at stop 
at stepstone.de and the people let's say who are not having a lot of funds these could be the small businesses so not even the medium enterprises but like directly small businesses for them like you can take a look at these kind of job um, jobs and stuff at indeed.de that's also a very good platform now there are some kind of recruitment agencies how do you find the recruitment agencies that is also a very um, important thing that you have to remember now a few major players are first one is highs that's a uh, really big um this personal barata no, personal vermittlung what is it yeah recruitment agency and then you have one called robert half that's also a big one and how do you actually find it like you just directly go to google and then afterwards you have to search search for hamburg and personal vermittlung so i will start taking a look at that and like these are all of your headhunter companies which are going to help you out in finding a job right now again like i'm giving out a lot of things to you uh, from the course because i understand times are difficult and if you like what you're seeing right now you will find the detail spot detail parts of it inside the course directly now so do not miss out on the recruitment agencies and what is the difference with headhunters and stuff like all of that is explained in the course it's not that important right now now relevant networking websites if you are in germany you understand like you have linkedin and you have zing right but there are very specific use cases for both of them only in specific cases it makes sense for you to like go for linkedin and other cases it makes sense for you to go to go for zing and um most of the times if you are having any kind of academic background you will have better luck in finding opportunities on linkedin now how do you do it now again a very important thing this is where the important part starts so like just close everything and um, focus here now if you are going on linkedin the first thing you can do is let's say you can start by searching for some kind of company so i will search for one of the major let's say pharmaceutical companies this is called biostoff now if you go to see all 10000 blah 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 employees you will be able to come to a part of all filters now people do not even use it which like really yeah bothers me because there are so many different kind of filters that you can use and this is all for free some other platform would be charging you for using these filters because it makes your life so much easier so you have germany and i'm going to add a school now how do you add a school here for adding a school the best way to figure this out is by first of all searching for what is the exact name of the school blasted on blasted listed on uh this linkedin so for hamburg it must be hamburg university of technology ths just like has their own name like different than the entire world so all right you have hamburg university of technology i'm going to put that inside the school all right that is listed and then what i'm going to do is do the search with this here so these are all of the people who are from hamburg university of technology and they are working in biostoff so what does it do you have to understand these things na huh? you can have the tools in front of you but if you do not understand like what it what is it that it's doing for you then it's like completely useless when you're connecting with somebody the first thing that you have to remember is you need some common grounds right let's say if you're with somebody and i don't know you're at the same particular place and there's some like crazy event happening whatsoever like that that's a nice conversation starter if the weather is absolutely beautiful that is a nice conversation starter and the same way on social media platforms or let's say on linkedin especially like on professional networking platforms you have the common ground that you are from the same university and you have to understand this this is what gives your entire conversation a context right and that is what you're taking a look at like that is what you're aiming for you're aiming for a context once you have the context you can go ahead you can ask them something you can tell them 
all right hey xyz uh, i see you're from the same university i've been uh, trying to find out opportunities in this particular company would you mind giving me a few tips i would be really grateful something like that now first of all in the very starting you have to like do a small ask and especially like if they are having the same background if they have the same university then it's even more fun because that means you and that person are from the same uh, particular university and it makes you feel like you're in a group now this is uh like the basics of even like marketing like you try to talk to people or you try to persuade people who belong in your circle all right so like that was about um the german university now maybe like i want to go even one step further if i want to go one step further what i would do is like i will maybe try to search for my indian university or like search for people who are from india so delhi university let me see and then it could be srm um institute or like whatever it is srm university um or it could be vit in india valor institute okay so again a few of them i see is there somebody who is from one of these universities and crazy thing so there's this guy who is global vice president of supply chain at biostoff and then you have somebody else who is personal care product expert blah blah so all of these things that i'm sharing right now like these are stuck behind the 600 euro course and like even a lot more in detail and you will not find these kind of strategies anywhere else that's why i'm saying like you can know the tools you can know the platforms and stuff and if you don't know how to use it it's absolutely fucking useless so again this person we found the jackpot here and if you take a look at the portfolio or like the cv towards the end you see okay this person did his bsc in physics from mumbai university now if you're a person from mumbai university and you have been trying to let's say like search for some kind of like opportunities whatsoever you can try to write to this person on linkedin or what you can do is you can try to find out if there's some kind of like other email address or something available online and then you can like you know approach them in a sane way now this is the entire skill now you can understand that you find the people right let's say right now the problem for you was like not being able to find the people but now once you've found the people what do you do you have to understand how to write and so far i'm like pretty good at it because i've like invested i think almost like right now six thousand euros or more in just like learning different kind of marketing techniques and how to copyright how to write emails which grab attention and all of those things and for me it was let's say a part of my business a part of my trade how i could get better in providing better services to the german companies with which i am doing marketing consulting right but for you right now that is not the priority you don't need to do a phd on how to write a particular email and stuff so these are the parts that you learn in the course and afterwards right but look this is again something that you can spend a lot of time doing and um this will give you some really really beautiful leads and you will not find all of these uh information that i'm sharing with you right now anywhere else you will just not find it just on this youtube channel all right so that was let's say for bias top now we can do something else now let's say we can start with deutsche bank again a very big company and if you have some ideas of companies post it down in the live chat and we are going to like see what interesting things we can find here so deutsche bank we again go to all filters and now i'm interested again in finding people from the indian universities so university of mumbai university of delhi um nope some other university names we can put inside vit like these are the names i remember because most of my core students come from these universities um what else like you have pune university symbiosis is also i think a big one yeah we, we just put all of these people inside and then we see which of these people are okay so like now this is showing us from everywhere we don't need it we need people who are only in germany we put in germany 
and we do this so we have 23 fucking results so first of all now everybody who's writing in the live chat tell me did you know about this strategy were you using this previously yes or no were you using this strategy previously or did you knew about something from this live session a completely different strategy that you're going to be using right now now i'm waiting for your comment So again, we have so many people who are, let's say, in Germany. We have 23 people who are from German, um, who are working in Germany, who are from Indian universities. That means you can just directly start going ahead and you can figure things out which you did not really know previously. All right? Perfect. So we have a lot of yes and a lot of no. Well, maybe some people were very smart, but most of the times what I know is like people do not use it at all. Nah? And you also don't learn about these things. This strategy is good. I've never used it. This is new. Thanks a lot for sharing. Not really. Thanks a lot. I wasn't. Perfect. Thank you so much. So now we know we are on a good track, right? And these are the kind of things that I, for example, do a lot of research about because I'm a good observer. If I don't do anything else, I just like to sit down and I like to observe things for what they are. And then I try to simplify them. And then I try to like give up, give you out, give you out some kind of uh, applications that you can use right away. Right. So again, all of these people are from that. Now, again, if you want to go one step further, what I would do is I would maybe even like try to find out um, somebody who is, let's say, instead of the schools, schools here i'm going to put so this is a big one right so let's say here we are going to try to find somebody who is from uh, tu munich so this person must have studied in tu munich and this person must have also studied in uh, university of mumbai or something let's try to find something like that okay so we do not find anything there all right not a problem then we are going to do the things in the reverse manner so university of mumbai we put pune we put what else vit and stuff and we put srm and we put all of these other things and then here instead of this school we are going to put let's say uh, technical university of munich and we are going to try to find if there's something else okay so we also do not find something here then we can search down the results lower nope again nothing so sometimes you can also find some very nice leads here um, for example right now we do not have any luck in this particular area but when you have some kind of like interesting schools let's say there's somebody okay let's let's try something else so we have buy us stuff I'm going to find this one. So I'm going to clear all of the things. I'm going to try to find biased off. And now I want to use the filters. And now I want to, let's say, look for schools. Schools I want to put inside, let's say, SRH Heidelberg again it's a private university but still a decent one and we again put some kind of like different universities inside University of Mumbai Punjab University I forgot that I would try to put mine inside but nothing would come out so SRM University we have VIT we have Pune and we have all the symbiosis. Okay, so nothing, absolutely nothing at all. Okay, so this was, this is not really working out, but you can also like then try a few different things. Maybe if this doesn't work out, maybe you can combine it then afterwards with um, other ones. So let's say TU Munich I want to do here. Do we find something? And then we want to see people who are in Germany. Okay. 
So some crazy stuff is happening here. Turns out like there are not many people from buy stuff in those kind of uh, places. But you get the point. The point is that you can narrow down your research. You can figure out what kind of different people are studying or working in these particular companies who have their background from your university or from your universities back in India. And this, and this gives you a very strong common ground which you will not find anywhere else. And that is, um, yeah, that is like something which is really, I think, um, yeah, that is worthwhile, right? So we talked about the length, these networking platforms, then the hidden job market. This is all about like, how do you find the list of companies and stuff? And you will find more details about it here. Then Saurabh Shubham is saying, why is it something new? It's an obvious strategy. Well, Saurabh must be for you, but it is not for a lot of people. Okay, so we have that. And then afterwards, what we will find, whoops. Searching for jobs if you're already in Germany, right? For example, how do you start here? Now here, like there are a few like very interesting choices. You have your career centers that you can start with. You can take a look at finding some kind of internships that will always help you out. Then you can talk to your professors. No, that is an opportunity. Then you can take a look at the other, let's say network, what kind of other people are in your batchmate who are maybe studying or working in some kind of like different companies and maybe can also like hook you up with that, right? So again, like we go into like a lot more details about these, like we have the job portal and stuff, like how do you pick the right message, your job application, step-by-step -step process, networking websites. Um, so pretty much like um, in networking websites, we go into a lot more detail with what we have seen right here. And if you're um, interested in enrolling in the course, so we have the complete course for studying in Germany here. And when you go to the webinar page and you go to the description, you will have um, a coupon discount of 100 euros, which is valid till the next weekend. Huh? So this means, but the first like three people who are going to be enrolling in the course right now, they will be able to get another 30 minute job coaching session completely free. So just to put it down. So you have 30 minute job coaching session. For the first three people. And you have the 100 euro coupon discount too, right? So these are the two things which are there for you if you want to like get serious about this. And especially let's say the course is around like after the coupon discount, the course is 497 euros. And once you get your job and stuff, and let's say you're getting a job for let's say around 40k or something. And that makes somewhere on, I think, 3.6 or something like that. And that pretty much like covers the cost for you in your first salary right away. No? So you have to think about all of these things from the investment perspective and um, just make sure that you're taking action, especially like if you need some kind of time, because all of these job processes, like you need at least anywhere from three months to six months to like get all of this started. I've seen some people like, you know, getting this done in one month too, but those are like rare scenarios. I wouldn't count on them. All right. So like I said, this is going to be in the description here and you will be able to um, enroll in the course um, once the once the webinar is done. So this was the entire story. So far, we like covered a lot of different kind of like uh, stuff. We saw like how you can use your networking platforms better. You can also go to the university pages and then you can go down to the alumni section and then you can see what kind of different people from your particular university are working in different companies. And all of that is what LinkedIn provides for you. Now, if you're like a member of like LinkedIn premium, so of course you have a lot more tools available for you, for you there too. Um, and let's say Airbus, Lufthansa and stuff. For example, if I would find somebody in Airbus, let's, let's search here because of course that's really cool. They start providing generally people. Okay. They didn't provide here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for Airbus and I'm going to then go to employees and then I'm going to start filtering out people. 
So I will use the all filters. I will search for people who are in Germany and I will search for people who are from Hamburg University of Technology. So TUHH. And then I apply and then I have some more people like popping up again. So again, I can write these people on the behalf that I have the same background like they have. And most of the times when you like start looking at the people who are from India and stuff, like you will also have the same kind of universities from which they have studied from, hopefully. And if that works out, that is a very nice case. And that is a very solid context. Uh, Ganesh is saying, hi Bharat, may I know any validity for the course? All right, so I think these are uh, interesting questions. So regarding the course, the complete course, for finding jobs so the package that you have right now or like the plan that you have right now um, it is at 597 euros uh, and right now you have the coupon discount of 100 euros so you have 497 euros for the self-learning plan and you have first of all lifetime access to it and for the first three people who enroll today, you have a free 30 minute coaching. So these are the details for the course. You have lifetime access. There are like few lessons which will still be um, updated into the course. So you will be able to find um, results for the for those things there too and this is also applicable for people who want to like look for master thesis because most of the company search that you have to do and how do you find the list of companies and everything that is there if you're looking for internship that also fits you if you're looking for part-time job this is also the same like you know uh, strategies that you have to look but most of all it is also like you know very helpful for people who are just directly um looking for yeah, for the people who are directly looking for, let's say, you know, jumping into the full-time employment. So Nidhi is saying, is the enrollment for intensive, intensive coaching plan? All right, yes, so the intensive coaching plan, the enrollment for that is closed. That was 997 euros, and that was a coaching for one entire month, no? So it was one month coaching and they're like, we guide you with everything. So any kind of questions you have, any kind of problems whatsoever, um, we take care of that. But right now it is um, closed for enrollment. So we are not taking any more enrollments right now. When it opens, I'll make a video on YouTube again. So it takes a lot of my personal time. That's why, you know, I just only have a group of around um, four to six people right now. So not right now, right now I have only four people, but generally like if I would have even in the future, like it shouldn't be more than four to six people. Um, then we had another course related question. Rohit is asking, what will the 30 minute coaching include? Right for the 30 minute coaching, first of all, you prepare all of your questions, the thing you're having issues with. And if you don't have any of that, we are going to use the 30 minute session as a kickstart session. So most of the important information that you need to start your job search, your master thesis search, your internship search, part-time job search, whatsoever um, in the first 30 minutes. No? So an important thing, this is like for people who are enrolling today, mainly because I have to then sit down with them and I, I, and I have to like, you know, figure out the schedule on what, when we have to have these 30 minute job coaching sessions because I can also like not do it like spontaneously. So that's why this is like only for today, but the lifetime access is always there. And with 597, generally it is a self-learning plan. But uh, right now, like I'm also providing support for 30 minutes and um, in case you have any kind of questions in the next one week. All right, so I think that was about the job course. Um, let's take up um, a few more questions in the last 10 minutes. We have 10 more minutes and we are going to see what we can do.
So, Abhishek is saying, let's put it up. Abhishek is saying, can you tell me like after connecting with the network on LinkedIn, what will be the better way to approach them? Like how and what should we include in the message? Well, I think that's that's a part for the job course um, because it has a lot of like things we have to discuss and I cannot just like um, tell you that um, right now. If I have to summarize it, you have to understand that when you're like connecting with somebody, you have to go from small ask. That is like you're just like asking simply to connect with them to a conversation that you're talking talking about something about them. Let's say like, you know, maybe you studied in this particular university. How was your experience? I'm struggling with this, blah, blah. Or how did you come to know that you want to like work here? How did you end up working in this particular company? All of these things. And then after the conversation, you have the big ask. And the big ask is always about you wanting their favor in finding out some kind of opportunity whatsoever to work in that particular company. Nidhi is asking, is there any chances of doing a PhD at a company? So Nidhi, there is a possibility, but for that, like you have to first of all agree um, so sit down with the professor who is letting you do this like dual PhD program. So like you figure out all of the data from the company and then you have a PhD. Um, so Dr. Fata, they call it in German. So this PhD supervisor who um, is taking the responsibility that all right, whatever you are doing, uh, it is in line and it is ending up somewhere. So Karan is asking, do universities have any kind of tie up with... Um, the companies. So universities generally do not have, so public universities, they don't. No, but private universities sometimes have. Surya is asking, Does gap matters if applying for Germany from India? So gap, uh, yeah, it's it's not nice. Like, you know, generally I say like when you're applying for universities, then a gap of two years is fine. But when you're applying for jobs, then like I would really not recommend that you have like longer gaps than six months. And if you have that, you like at least like have something to show for. Like what were you doing in that time? some internship, some kind of like learning, some kind of like uh, skill building whatsoever. All of these things you have to understand. San is asking, for someone, someone in India starting their first semester virtually, would you recommend them to start with looking for a job? So San, for the first semester, I would really tell you like focus on the, um, yeah, focus on the university right now. Because you have to, you need some time to get used to the entire system, you know? So in those kind of scenarios, like don't focus yourself right now, just in the first semester with so many different kind of stuff. Um, just figure out what kind of subjects you want to study, um, do them well, get a good grade. And once you have all of that, then it becomes easier for you to like, you know, find a job afterwards. Okay, so Ramesh is saying, do freshers also have a chance? So freshers are like graduates from other countries. Like I would not recommend them because the chances for uh, getting any kind of offer letter will be very less, mainly because you don't have any kind of work experience. So I wouldn't recommend. But if you are a student in a German university, and even if you have zero work experience, then it is not a problem. You can like still come and you can still, um, yeah, applying, you can still apply for jobs and stuff. All right, uh, what else do we have now? How hard is it to settle in Germany? Okay, so I think we have um, questions going in all different directions now. So I'm going to end the webinar with all of these strategies that I've shared with you. 
No, and regarding the complete course for studying in Germany, we have 597 euros price, which is right now available at just 497 euros. And I'm going to, let's say, add in some extra thing because I understand some of you are actually really looking for some kind of help. So, of course, the three people who enroll today, they will have the free 30 minute coaching session. And for them, I'm going to do something extra. So I also like then have a one month support. One entire month of support provided to people who enroll today. And from support, I mean document reviews. So document reviews, taking a look at the cover letter. So like review of the cover letter and stuff. Help in shortlisting the companies and all of these things, right? So all of these things are now in the writing and in the video. So you don't have to worry about this offer. It is valid till today for the first three people who enroll. Thank you so much for joining in. If you learn something new, please let me know in the comment section and I will see you in another webinar. If there's some specific, specific webinars that you would like to have, please also let me know about it. And yeah, thank you so much again and have a nice weekend.